Hello my friends, welcome to the Mighty Miniatures campaign, it's episode 37. And I signed myself up for a contract last time, so let's crack on with it. I'm in a way more positive mood now, because I've got my, uh, I've got my disco back. And I'm pretty sure that that is going to be a good reason to, uh, get on with the story. Carry on. <clears throat> I think this will be the last episode where I sandbox, and then we're going to carry on with the plot. You know, I wasn't going to carry on with the plot until I got a heavy. I'm quite close to a number of heavies now. So e I think even if I risk pushing the story forward, uh, and I start facing off against heavies all the time, I should be able to put one together before uh, my, my mercenary outfit falls apart. So. These are my thoughts. What are those trees? <clears throat> what are those trees? Those green things made of wood. Um destroy enemy vehicles. Okay. So it's going to be a lance of mechs then, right? That's how this game works. Super heavy mech means hundred ton demolisher. I'm just looking at the map and there's actually nowhere better to be than to just push straight down the center. I certainly don't want to be down in this ditch. This certainly is one of those maps that can go horribly wrong for you. Because uh, usually reinforcements spawn here. Okay, let's see what the AI does. If anything. Everyone in cover with uh, 4 evasion. So we can reserve pretty much risk free. Good to go. He's got the shot. Uh, we'll go here. Good I don't want to risk revealing both of them. Oh, it's a demolisher! How pleasant. On the offshoot that this guy gets his turn and he rips my head off, I am going to Vigilance. Confirm. Okay. Receiving you. Will that be enough to kill him? Take a few more risk free turns. A Manta Core. Not a huge amount of firepower, but a uh, hell of a lot of armor. should definitely be his turn next. Can I guarantee that that I kill him? I genuinely can't guarantee that. What's up, boss? Roger that. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh, great. Oh, he must have already had his go. Ooh. Ow. Ugh. I hate these guys. 
that's an LRM carrier. Now I could just go and melee him. What's that? That's the Manticore. Firing on target. Come on. Ow. Crying out loud. Get in cover and kill this bloody LRM carrier, please. I need to get rid of both of these. Okay, that's the LRM carrier dealt with. This demolisher is really taking the abuse. Like, really taking it. This is the only angle in which I have a good shot. Oh man, he could totally survive this. Come on! Oh my god, he's still alive! Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Go straight into a hard mission. Get your ass kicked. Waiting for orders. On my way. Okay. Long range weapons on the Manticore, short range weapons on the Demolisher. Confirmed. Oh, whoops. That was a misfire. Oh well, whatever. Standing by. Oh, I could just step on him. Although that actually feels like it would be a waste, so... Few more good hits on the Manticore. Wow, how many structure hits is he gonna take? Jesus. Okay. Let's try this again. 12, 4, and 20. So anywhere that I hit now that's not the turret with the small laser should be fail. Let's put the medium laser as well just to be extra certain. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <clears throat> that should kill the LOS of most of these guys as well. 
Oh, they're going for the arm. Uh, the damage is not that bad. The damage is genuinely not that bad. It's, uh, the right arm is almost gone, but there's no weapon systems in it. <clears throat> then we've got left leg damage, but the right leg is in great condition. CT has taken some damage, as is the center torso uh, sections of the left and right. Nothing that is potentially fatal or anything. So all I really need to do is just pull this guy back. The Manticore is going to go next. So, let's Vigilance again. So that we can gain the optimum position for this turn. And then next turn we'll move over here, out of the way. <clears throat> we were knocked down, so we do take a big chance to hit penalty, unfortunately. I'm not sure what this vehicle is. It's slow, whatever it is. That's a miss for most of his main weapons. Okay, perfect. Now we just get rid of the Manticore and we reserve until the enemy gets close enough to do something about us. Ow. <clears throat> Although, once again, that's the Shadow Hawk. The arm is uh, weapons free. What we will do is we will rotate a little bit. Come on, kill him. There we go. Okay. That's line of sight blocked. Now they can't see me anymore. three enemy mechs here somewhere but they are gonna have to take a few turns before they actually get somewhere where they can see me <clears throat> controlling LOS is like one of the key parts of this game man that was a rough start I need to like wake up now the real question is what is this vehicle Whatever it is, it doesn't seem very interested in fighting me. Confirm. What's that? It's a disco back! Everyone's favorite party mech. Copy that. Suppose if you're going to take one piece of something, you might as well take one piece of that. Bye. Oh my god, two disco backs. We need to disarm these as quickly as possible. That's a miss. Now I'm going to have to take these guys turns just to uh, bulwark them. It would be better to wait until these guys are not braced, but I prefer to take less damage than to do more damage. What is this? Oh! It's a turkey walker! Okay, that's not, that's not a threat. Not too threatening. Still not sure what this 100 ton juggernaut of steel is. 
fact, we'll just have a cooldown turn with this mech. Unfortunately, we're hitting the wrong side of the hunchback. <clears throat> okay, it's not bad. I mean, it still hurts, don't get me wrong, but it's not bad. Okay, so now the real question is... What is this vehicle still? Ooh, that's the arm exposed. Nothing in the arm. That's the shield side of the griffin that's getting pounded there. Oh, it's a Shriek PPC carrier. Okay. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. That's not good. But it does need direct line of sight to do anything. Right, let's rumble. He's actually keeping all of his heat sinks there, so uh it's not like it's pointless to uh shoot at that area. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, it's probably a cicada. Well, there goes some heat sinks. That should reduce his capability. I'd much rather laser his weapon systems off, but uh, <clears throat> the opportunity is not there at the moment. Okay, he legged it. Let's fall back. Go for this hunchback here. See if we can soften him up a little bit. Um, not much to say here. This is a bit of a straight up battle. I'd rather get the enemy closer than I can abuse them more, but they are keeping their distance. And I just, I need to get more work done on the enemy before I can make any tactical decisions. In other words, their armor is just too thick for me to actually precisely be like, this is the moment I remove his weapons, or this is the moment that I uh, do whatever. My internals are taking a beating. Okay, he pushed forward to attack the already weakened Shadowhawk. But that is actually a mistake. So let's hide the right side. Fire away. Okay, this hunchback has exposed himself. Now we can focus fire on him. Oh, 
I pull the trebuchet back in a minute and then these guys will all have nothing to shoot at. Let's go here. The other hunchback legged it, probably to preserve his life, but what he's done is he's left this hunchback here on his own. Ah, it is another cicada, okay. And then what I'll probably do is pull back behind this ridge so I can get them closer. Or I can start doing some melee. But still, at the moment, the uh, strategy will be to just keep firing at the hunchback and keep softening him for a precise strike on his weapon systems. Oh, he's getting closer. What a fool. I might actually be able to get some side blasts on him now without exposing myself to too much return fire. At this rate, I'll probably just kill this hunchback before I actually get rid of its weapons. Okay, we're getting there. Targeting for an alpha strike. Nice. We have opened up the structure for a precise strike. We can now move in and use our morale to take out that hunchback's weapon system. Here comes the other one. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And the Shriek lost his turn because he didn't have a target. Okay, 49, 50, 50, let's go for it, get the weapons, ooh, most of them missed unfortunately. I've pushed him back in initiative phase now, so hopefully I can get his weapons off before he gets his go. These cicadas, I'm just going to have to punch them shortly. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah, I need this guy dead, please. Man, I pretty much missed where I needed to last last time. I can get a side shot here, but I am opening myself up to uh, return fire. I think I'd rather play safe. One LRM5 to target the other hunchback in case I get what I want. Ah, 
<laughs> I got a heat sink. <laughs> That's nice. Hunchbacks really rely on their heat sinks to uh, cool off all those lasers. Okay. Really have to do something about these irritating little turkey walkers soon. Come on. Okay, a number of the weapon systems got destroyed, but not all of them. One HP! Jesus. That's alright, Trebuchet can take that. Come on, finish this guy's weapons, please. One HP, one hit, that's all I need. Nice! Okay, he's out of the fight. That's 225 alpha removed. And he shouldn't have a shot. Shouldn't have, but does. Right, okay. So it's just this hunchback that's got weapons now. So we will knock him back an initiative phase by using this mech. I'm a bit short on... Uh, I'm out of ammo, so it's not the best idea to use this mech for the purpose. 26, I'd have to land both. Have you got the shot? Have you got the shot? Okay, this is the mech that I'll use. So I can't get the weapons, they are too well protected, but I can get the heatsink bank. Unless I miss every shot. Okay, so the hunchback's been pushed back a phase. Let's get rid of these bloody chicken walkers before they carve a hole in my rear torso. Oh, okay, apparently I can only friggin' punch them in the, uh, in the rear. <sighs> Which, while effective, leaves me very exposed. Supporters. I see why there's like a ridge in the way. We've got full strength legs. Why don't we do this the old Falcon Punch way? Death through the windscreen! Oh, it's a double miss! That's not good. Oh man, this is bad. Roger, Hopefully I get the heat sinks. Nope. Ow. Reporting internal damage. 
I don't think there's any weapons in that side, though. That's the shield side of the griffin, so... Uh, okay. Let's move where the old Shrieker can't hit us and set ourselves up for melee next turn. <clears throat> okay! This is really ugly fight. Jesus. Oh man, I lost a leg. can't get close to that PPC to take it out. Okay, does that side have the PPC? No. Yes, it does. Right. Well, he won't be attacking with any accuracy next turn. See, the thing with... Uh, I, I generally win fights by controlling line of sight, but it's been almost impossible to control line of sight on this mission. Oh, he went for him. Okay. That's a bit weird. I'm ready for order. We may yet get the situation under control. Try and knock this guy over by punching his leg off. At the very least, getting his uh, heat sinks. Inflicted some heavy damage. Wow. Jesus Christ. He absolutely cooked himself trying to kill me there. Ready for order. Ugh. A lot of moves here that don't feel like good moves. I need to hide this guy away from that, uh, that Shriek, the Shrek. Come on, get the hate, get him, kill him! Okay. <laughs> the hunchback with one small laser. Oh man. He is out of this fight. Okay, um...
I feel like now is the right time probably to eject. And I wonder if I can get one more turn in before I do. in here. Nothing. Okay, all the weapon systems are in the right arm. Ah, uh, no. Let's eject. Do I have anything in the head? Let's not risk any more damage. I'll deal with you in a minute, evil... evil turkey bird. Oof. That rear armor is like full and very thick. So, we are gonna use the rear armor to our advantage by stepping on the Shriek and showing our back to the enemy, knowing that our back is like 75 armor points thick. Ironically, it's the front of the trebuchet that's damaged, that's weak. <coughs> Once this hunchback dies, the amount of firepower the enemy has dramatically drops. We lost the arm there, but that there's no weapons in the arm, so that's okay too. I think this situation is actually pretty much under control now. We just have to make sure that this hunchback never gets back up. Finish him. Nice. Okay, now there are only two PPCs in the fight. Kill this guy. Oh, nice. Ha, <laughs> he's aiming for the back of the trebuchet. But the back of the trebuchet is actually very, very heavily armored. How many more punches can you take, my friend? Not many, I'd wager. Engaging physical attack. Nice. Enemy destroyed. We'll get the last evil turkey, and we're done here. Um, can we just push this guy back a phase? That would be awesome. A few good machine gun hits, and this mech could be in big trouble. Well, not big trouble, but it's going to cost me a load of money to fix it. Um, 
The ammo can't explode, by the way, because there's not enough left. That hunchback cannot do anything but melee. That's actually a good point. If all they can do to survive is melee, then it's quite risky to get in close to them because they will melee if they've got no weapons. Where is that weapon system? Where is that PPC? It's in the right torso. See if we can get it. Oh, nice! That could not have gone any better. A critical hit. Now all we do is we just keep our distance. Just keep our distance from them and pick them off. <clears throat> Their best attack will be melee. They can do basically nothing else. In fact, I don't even need to keep my distance from this guy, to be honest. His melee attack is garbage. Just get the Shadow Hawks in here to punch him to death. Oof! Ammo explosions are bad for you. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that he has switched to doing melee. Armor breached. Internal damage. Damage minimal. Commander. Um. We're almost out of ammo. Never, I never imagined that this battle would be as close as it has turned out to be. I've played really badly. <laughs> you don't play Battletech for a couple of days, you take a break, you come back to the world's hardest Iron Man campaign and you're like, oh yeah, this is actually quite hard. <laughs> Maybe I uh, should pay attention. It's alright, we've won, we're good. Whew. I'm not sure we made a profit on this one, i got to be honest with you. <laughs> not sure we made, <laughs> we made money. <laughs> uh, see? Don't have a real life. Real life is bad for you. Just play Battletech. Jesus Christ, I... Took some pretty severe being here. Still, it was half a million sea bills. Let's see if, what the repairs come out to. <clears throat> I hate that map. It's really hard to control LOS on it. It's like, it's really open. It's just one big hill. And once you're on top of it, it's very hard to uh, prevent the enemy from seeing you. Okay, 20,000. Okay, so that leaves us with 480. 72,000, despite losing no components. Okay, so that's 410. This needs a refit. We only lost a medium laser though. Nice and tidy. Whew, that takes us down to 230,000 C bills. 
Okay, so we still made 220,000 sea bills out of that mission. So, we won't cry too hard about that. However, we are in a state of having only one mech that's capable of combat right now. A recovery for good salvage and poor money. However, this does take us to Weldry, which is near where the priority mission is. And I did say that we would do the priority mission next time. So, we shall take this easy mission as a warm-up. We'll go full salvage because there is no point in taking that tiny amount of sea bills. And <clears throat> the Griffin's going to take a while to fix. I'm just going to rearrange things so that I get four working mechs as quickly as possible. Okay. 350,000 sea bills per month now. Not bad. <clears throat> I think the hunchback is really going to speed up making money. Okay, what else do we want? Do we want anything? The only thing I really want is the Gamma Pod and the um, Training Module 3 because that's going to be a huge source of experience points for me. But the sheer cost of it would put the, the entire Iron Man campaign at risk. So it's going to have to wait. If you think about it, between the amount of time it's taken to actually fly to the next contract, we we made negative money from that mission. Okay. Easy enough. <clears throat> Finally, the disco back is ready. Okay. I'm pretty sure that we can just proceed with this contract quickly. So let's do it. I don't have four mechs. <laughs> I have to wait two days. Okay, now we can do it. Okay. Sweet. The Hunchback is definitely uh, the most firepower that I can possibly get. So this will be a salvage run, and then after this we'll sell all the salvage, and then we will go for the next story mission. Which I said that I wouldn't do until I had my first heavy, but, um... <sighs> but... We're not actually seeing a huge amount of heavies apart from, like, in the hardest missions. So... I think it makes sense to do a story mission. <clears throat> Probably no, my luck will start seeing the salts. Okay. Should be easy enough. Don't need to tell me twice. Finally got myself some firepower. 
thanks to the cheesy small weapon power that is the hunchback, the disco back. I do wish that the game eased up on the hard points a little and uh, let you generate the ver the various variants from uh, from the from the base chassis, but you know. Okay, that's a light. And there's an enemy medium somewhere as well, but he can't see me. I guess annihilate this, capture this. Be the order of the day. Right. What are you? First, out. Uh, it's a locust and a centurion. Okay. Oh, we got two more bandits closing in. Affirmative. <clears throat> now, to be fair. If these guys aren't lights, then I can worry about capturing them. No, they're all mediums. Ready for orders. So this is a salvage run, but I think this guy that's behind me needs to die. Just to avoid any risk. Simple enough. It's always difficult to break LOS when you've got a locust following you around as well, so uh, uh -huh. hopefully we can achieve that by disco backing him to death. Fully armored Centurion is an absolute pain to deal with. That's the only thing. Uh, I may need some more time in the simulator. Oh, he's in range. He is in range. Disco time. Disco fever. 54. Let's go. Disco FIFA! <laughs> it's so OP! <laughs> oh my god. That locust gets shot at by three mechs and it's like, yeah, is that all you've got? <laughs> Disco back is just like, it is time for the party. <laughs> yeah, check out my boombox. <laughs> oh, lovely. Love it. So dumb, but so awesome. I don't know if these two are going to get a shot yet. Oh, a Shadow Hawk. Okay. Random headshots for the win. Let's do just a little bit of a slight rotation here. Of course, a frozen wasteland planet is the perfect planet for your disco back. Okay, whatever that is, it's got a PPC and missiles. So... I'm trying to think. Vindicator? Is Vindicator the right mech? The 
The disco never stops with the disco back. I could totally rip this guy's leg off. Go! <laughs> Massive damage. Okay, we'll get him next turn. Oof! Another hit like that and you're toast. Do you have ammo in the leg? No, I got the side. That's two serious injuries for him. He might actually be a, a capture now. Man, this this hunchback is great. This is the most firepower I've ever had in one of these ridiculous difficulty campaigns. It's so nice to actually have proper firepower. <laughs> Get it. Wow, I think we pretty much entirely hit CT there. But that's okay. A griffin! I wouldn't mind capturing that. That's a good mech design. I should have known it was a griffin. Okay, so that CT is down to 10 HP, so this guy is basically dead. And the odds of me actually, uh... killing him via any other method is null. Oh well. Whatever. Aim head to shoot CT. Right, let's go to capturing, shall we? Uh, let's not turn on the disco. I'm just gonna brace, get in position. I need these guys to get a bit closer. Although, the Shadow Hawk has positioned himself in such a way that he is very much open to being pummeled. What was that about? He just did like a little walk on the spot. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Do I disco him or do I disco the griffin? Good to go. Let's see if we can knock the Shadow Hawk on his ass. He's had his uh he's had his go, so Okay, the Griffin's backing up and doing a stupid LRM move, okay that's fine. Unleash the party. This will hurt you. <laughs> it's so OP! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I guess the Shadow Hawk is about to become bits as well. Uh, 
I think I will have to make the effort to capture the griffin or this will not be a good payout. It's just the enemies are in such positions where I can't get their sides very easily. It's not really tactically very bright of them either, because they would last a lot longer if they offered their sides. If they were trying to win. I hear ya. As it stands, they're just putting themselves in a position where the front just gets pushed in. And they die. Wow, pilot died from an ammo explosion. But I think it was a CT ammo explosion, so uh, it will only be one bit. Right. Operation Gryffindor is go. Let's capture this guy. How dare you? That's exactly what I was about to do to you. Fortunately, I am not one of these fools that under armors his rear. You hear me, fools who under armor your rear? Even the hunchback actually has a not bad melee of 80. Nice. Now we have to do is knock him over. In order to knock him over, of course, we turn off the laser weapons and we just use weapons that uh, have level of stab damage to them. That should do it. <clears throat> okay, that's our first injury. Confirmed. You just wait out. Okay. Now we just wait for him to get back up so we can just push him down again. I find if you can get two free knockdowns, you generally can capture a mech. Let's see what he does. Okay. I'm surprised he landed that hit, but okay. Not a big deal. Let's carry on. So a free knockdown is where you knock the mech down without destroying the legs. Obviously, if you take the leg, then that's uh, not a free knockdown because you've taken out one of the legs. Yes, orders are to wait, because now we need him to get back up again. This is basically how the strategy works for uh, a clean capture. Just repeatedly knock the enemy down, and if you gain any bonus injuries, then that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. It just, it doesn't work on mechs that haven't got full armor a lot of the time because they die before you actually knock them down enough. Two good punches usually knocks a mech over if it's in the same weight class. And obviously you want to hit the sides to avoid hitting the CT. Okay, let's knock him down again. Ooh, I hit the leg there. So he might, um, 
he might go down from being legged. The back is also a good place to hit a mech to knock it down. If the armor is thick, then there's no reason not to do it. In this case, it's a bit risky because the armor is not that thick and a CT hit. 80 on the CT potentially could put his center torso into a very bad, into a very precarious situation, which I would like to avoid. Likewise, punching the front can have the same effect. Although in this case, the front armor is pretty thick, so we'll go for it. Oh, nice, that's an injury. And the pilot is toast. Pretty simple method for clean capture. Just punch him over and over and over, aiming everywhere but where, where it would be fatal. Okay, this might be just the end of the mission. Okay, cool. Well, that was a pretty good demonstration of uh, how to capture a full armor mech. And all you need is melee, really. You don't need anything special. Using that melee method on a heavily armored mech, you can usually knock it over once or twice before you start breaking off any parts. And then, obviously, as you get the uh, side torsos, those are free injuries. You can get about four or five injuries pretty readily. Because if they've got one of those uh, injury-reducing cockpits, then you've got no chance. There we go. <clears throat> Half a medium. Which is worth say so a full medium is worth 400 to half a million C bills 400,000 to half a million so that's 200,000 which is more money than we would have gotten anyway cool we got the rest of the junk not bad at all So far, so good. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure next time I'm going to hit the uh, the next story mission, especially since we're on the right planet for it. feel like we're actually making some progression. <sighs> it's kind of amazing to think how many... Um, how many episodes it's taken to put together just a team of decent mediums. Not of light mediums, but of actually, you know, relatively decent mediums. I mean, it's been like 15 episodes. Because of the one part per mech thing. Right, while we're at it, let's clear away all the junk. <clears throat> Not bad. Uh, we've picked up a PPC along the way. Machine guns. A few people ask me, like, if you're going to do the smallest weapons only, why not use machine guns or flamers? Machine guns and flamers are way better than small lasers. Way better. Though they serve different purposes. Um, machine guns are incredibly crit-seeking, which means that as soon as the structure is revealed, they tend to ruin everything in the structure. And that can matter. That can matter a lot. Especially with heavier mechs. Heavier mechs with more structure and more equipment have just got more to lose to machine guns. And then everyone knows why flamers are good, or at least I would hope so. So that left me with small lasers as being the uh, the optimum choice for being difficult. Right, anyway, I hadn't played for a while, so it was good to play again. Uh, I played like garbage in the first mission, so we'll pretend like that never happened. And uh, <laughs> we uh, cleaned up pretty well in the second mission. We still made money. 
We didn't lose any money or anything. And next time, I think we will hit out the story mission. Unless I feel some compelling reason not to. Which I don't think I will. We will hit out the story mission. And, uh... Then we'll push on trying to find some more heavies. That should bump up the difficulty a little bit as well. So we'll see where it goes from there. Join me next time.